Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Me making sure that this sleepy little goose on my lap doesn't go falling. I woke her up. It, sort of. I'm not sure if she was actually awake or asleep when I, I got her out of her nest. But she has been sort of on my, my lap slash abdomen. And I've been trying to keep her from rolling all the way down my arm. <laughs> The arm, my body, and then onto the cherry. Do you want to eat that? Don't eat that. That's not good to eat. I mean, it probably tastes good, but don't chew it up. Ah, not trying to scare you, little one. She's a cutie, though, doing what hamsters do. So I'm going to put her back in her cage so she can go back to sleep. Here we go. You curl up and go back to sleep after you finish freaking out. She has to freak out. She's a hamster. She's a rodent. She's a prey animal. So... But she's a cutie, and it's just about time for her to go up again the wall and then somebody else to come into rotation. Little Gojira is still down here. I have not... Well, I don't really have a, a good place over again the wall right now. Oh, excuse me. So, it's okay that she stays down here. Because that just gives me two hamsters to play with instead of one. <laughs> it's a good thing. Oh, my tummy is upset. It's always upset. I drank fluids, which is usually what you do with them. You don't drink solids. But I drank some fluids, and then I ate some yogurt, and now my tummy is upset because there's stuff in it. Earlier it was upset because there was nothing in it. Now it's upset because there's something in it. My gut has always been a major issue my whole life. <clears throat> so that's exciting and fun. I mean... All my life. I remember being 19 years old in Herbert Field, Florida. I ate the meat of another human raw, like an animal. This is a nightmare. Oh no, it's... Where in the morning time at work, I would occasionally just be buckled over, leaning, mouth open, just saliva pouring out of my mouth as I'm struggling not to vomit because my heartburn is that bad. So I started eating breakfast after a couple of years and that that ended. Did, oh my god, that was a lot. Of, it's lag spiking horribly. I am so sorry. There's no reason I should be doing it, but of course it is. So hopefully it's recording. Thumbs up. I need to reinstall Windows 10 for like the 18th time but yay <clears throat> and then all my life my gut has just hurt I mean I remember as a child just my stomach hurting so much all the time that my solution was I'd get a pillow to hold over my tummy so that it would hold the body heat in in the hopes that that would help and oh and then in the Air Force I remember you know, TMI, but sitting in stalls in the restroom where it's just, I am bolt upright and unable to breathe because it feels like I'm being stabbed in the gut with butcher knives. And even now, 30 years later, this, I still have a horrific gut pain. Yay. Like this morning, it's been very difficult just to just to stand upright when I have to stand. Even now, it feels like I've been stabbed. And earlier, it was even worse. So, whatever is going on inside of there, who knows? It's hard to say. The thing is, of course, we really, really don't understand a whole lot about the gut. But with, we're learning. I mean, we know that there is a, a huge amount of neural tissue in your in your gut literally it is thought of as the body's second brain there is so much neural tissue in from here this stuff but it's all down here in your gut all around your intestines and such so you have a second brain in your body but it's more diffuse and it's all around your gut and oh my whole life it has just hurt so much my gut uh, but you learn things and that's good. I discovered that there's the one antihistamine, the diphenyl something or other. It's like Benadryl, the 
non-generic brand name Benadryl. One of the reasons it makes you sleepy is because it affects neural tissue. And I didn't know that this would be a side effect because of that. But because you take the antihistamine and it affects neural tissue, it slows your thinking down so you get drowsy. But because it slows down neural tissue, it slows your gut down like you've taken an opiate. How about that? So you can get badly constipated to the point that you can get blockages and need surgery just by taking the antihistamine Benadryl. Medicines and food are so, so dangerous. Even the stuff that's over the counter, when it says don't take the XXX, it, it, they mean it. It's serious. <clears throat> Yay. And then of course, if you take the stuff for too long, because back when I was an active alcoholic and I was like the year 1999 maybe, I was having horrible insomnia periodically and so I was taking sleep aids and I discovered the joy of taking the antihistamine to go to sleep. And then if you do that too long, you get the rebound effect where you're, <coughs> my sincere apologies, you're suffering from insomnia, you take the tablet, and what normally put you asleep has now got you super wired. You were awake before, now you're too awake, and you don't know what to do. So rebound effect on medications is always fun. Fun, of course, being a very relative term. Yesterday was also exciting, and then I went out walkies, had to go to the store, but when I was coming back, it was pretty gross because I started off the day yesterday by taking a shower. When I was coming back, I passed by this one building. Now, all of the buildings are every sign, every awning, every projection <coughs> coming out is dripping because stuff is melting and there's water everywhere. So things are dripping. At the same time, I'm <coughs> my sincere apologies. At the same time, I'm passing underneath a bunch of these on this one building type, a car comes in and startles a bird. So there's a squawking bird that goes flying as I'm passing underneath these dripping sign things. And there's a spaff right here in my hair. Now things drip all the time and usually it's fine. You know, you just go like that, your hands wet, great. Now, I don't think it was the bird, but I don't know. <coughs> I am so sorry. I smoked one joint this morning. Usually I take oil dabs and it destroys my throat. This morning I went out and I smoked one joint. Now my throat is to... This is a wonderful morning. I am just going to ignore that. I am having a great morning. Hopefully your day is going well as well. But my voice has just been chewed up by that one joint I've been smoking. <coughs> but when I went like this, there's actually this hand on this side. I get, well, I must have reached over like that because it was this part of my hair, but it was this hand. I was carrying stuff. And there was like a handful of brown mud. Not a handful, but like a teaspoonful of brown mud, which could have been from the building. And it was odorless. And I don't know, could have been from the bird, yuck, could have been just dirt and mud and rust and slime that went splut off the top of one of those dangling bits that I just happened to be lucky enough to land underneath. It was vile. Luckily, I, I mean, in color and consistency, like I say, it didn't have any odor, so it's not like I was... I'm looking for my comb now, since I touched my hair. <laughs> so I had some tissues, and I cleaned myself up with snow and tissues as best I could, but when I got back, there was no way I was not going to clean myself. So everything off, into the shower, rinse, wash my hair, rinse, 
and then out. It was five minutes, and oh, now my nose itches. I'm having a wonderful day, and I hope that your day is a wonderful day too today. On this beautiful day, the sun is shining somewhere, even if you can't see it. I mean, you may be, it may be night where you are. Sun's still shining, it's just on the other side of the planet. Maybe it's cloudy and raining. The sun is still shining, it's just you can't see it for the cloud cover. So the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day somewhere, even if it's horrific and nightmarish where you are. Maybe you're huddled underneath some branches struggling for your life while animals or people are hunting you in the night. Hard to say. It's still a beautiful day somewhere. Definitely a thumbs up for that. Let's see what else was going on because there was some stuff. One thing that I do worry about is I know I have changed. My personality has not, is not the same now as it was when I first started up my channel because I've been waking up. I am more who I have always been and I'm not the person that I've been sleepwalking through life as through half of my channel and more. So I can only hope that my changing personality as I continue to wake up doesn't turn people off. I mean, for years I was getting 250 subscribers plus daily. I mean, years, for years, like three years, I was over 250 and if it was anything less than that, it was a really slow day. And then for this past year, it's dropped down to anywhere from six to 25 new subscribers daily, which makes me wonder, is it me? Because I have changed as I have been waking up. I am not the person that I was even two years ago, even one year ago. Or is it just a change in YouTube with a change in algorithms or what? I don't know. All I can be is me and hopefully that's good enough. I mean, I'm not losing subscribers anyway. That's good. It's a good thing. I mean, even, and I, I restate, even if I lost 99.9% .9 of my subscribers just said, you know what? We don't like this, this boring person on YouTube anymore. He hasn't done anything horrific for us to hate him. He's just dull and then everyone but five people unsubscribed as long as i've got somebody uh, out there somebody that i'm pointing at right now that person you that's watching as long as there's somebody out there i'm gonna keep making videos because it is key and foundation to my recovery it has been such an amazing part of my recovery from my depression from the death of my wife and even with the death of my mother added on top of that last year, I'm still working forward and going in the right direction. And it's this channel has been the foundation of my recovery. So yeah, even if I got zero, like five subscribers a year and was down to 10 again, that's people that are watching and caring. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. Each and every one of you. Thumbs up for that. I mean, because on the one hand, I do have to think about this as just the same type of person using this as my recovery and trying my best to get better. But at the same time, I also have to look at this as it's also keeping my bills paid and <clears throat> my sincere apologies and I gotta keep my bills paid or I'm gonna be homeless and if I'm homeless I'm not going to live very long because I have to use my sleep mask when I sleep at night because I stop breathing and that has a terrible strain on your heart and your brain and I don't want to have a stroke or a heart attack and die so yeah, I, I gotta kind of live in a place where there's electricity. I can't be on the street. But still, again, thank you all so very, very much. I have Patreon.com patrons. I have GoFundMe so donators. 
Thank you all so very much. It is literally because of you that I do have a house and a home and I can pay my bills right now. This next month is going to be tough. I think I'm going to have to make a can I get a little help video and I hate doing that even though I know it's okay to ask for help. It's just still even now the pre-depression and depression era training from my mother that she got from her parents and my grandparents that raised me they taught me so hard hammered into my head that <clears throat> if you're in trouble shut up fix it yourself die if you have to nobody cares and I know that's wrong but it's just been driven into my head and my psyche so hard <clears throat> I am so irate at my throat. All I did was smoke one joint and I'm having more issues now than I've had yesterday. Yay. Anyway though, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. Whether it is a good comment, a bad comment, or an indifferent comment, the fact is you left me a comment. Now I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Keep that in mind. So, if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. <coughs> I am so sorry. No disrespect is intended, and even though I'm counting an American sign language on the fingers of this hand with my fibro depression, brain damage from alcoholism, and more, I'm lucky I can remember that my name is Reginald P. Farquhar. And since my name isn't Reginald P. Farquhar, you know we're in trouble already. Let me open up my Chrome. Here we go. Skull X, or well, Skull ZX, who made a brave admission that he, he is a pedophile. So that's weird that he would come to my channel to admit that, but. And Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Mr. D, thumbs up and thank you. Sage Padilla, greatly appreciated. Brandon Gomez, thumbs up and thank you. Twin Comet, yay, always good to see you in the comments. Victor Laura, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. Logitech G502, thumbs up and thank you. Smiley322, thank you very, very much. El Crusto666, greatly appreciated. Zombie Wolf, thumbs up and thank you. Pilar Sanchez, I hope I'm close. QP Minecraft Pro, thumbs up and thank you. Philip Reed, greatly appreciated. <coughs> uh, Matthew, yeah, Matthew Red, thumbs up and thank you. Nick J, greatly appreciated. Henry with an underscore instead of an E, kind of clever, thumbs up and thank you. Grim Guns, greatly appreciated. Sosa Glaku, 312, thumbs up and thank you. Colin Reisenauer, greatly appreciated. Alex DeBoer, thumbs up and thank you. Captain Chaos, greatly appreciated. Jonah Universe, thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, Chanel Schuster, greatly appreciated. Just about each and every one of you. The unpleasant people that leave troll comments or just abusive comments. I mean, thank you for having left the time. I mean, either I'm just going to make fun of you or delete your comment if it's abusive, but thank you. It is appreciated. And each and every one of you who isn't a troll or vile individual, thank you all so very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thank you very much. And since my hands are in the air, if you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com, a blog that I'm going to start writing on any day now, as soon as I've got enough energy and stop falling asleep like I kept doing yesterday. Ah! And if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not want to. I mean, really, honestly, I would understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Why pointing? Why not? I'm going to hopefully have a ration video today. Got a, a cool video that I want to get done. Definitely a thumbs up, a good thing. I'm gonna have a game video. I just have to edit it and render it. So definitely a thumbs up on that. Definitely cool. And I'm, I'm suddenly derailed. Huh. 
Anyway though, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. I'm sure there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what.